everyone. I'm Claire and I'm the Customer Experience Analyst for the Center for Customer Insights and Digital Marketing. And today I'll be introducing how to get started with research participation in the business research panel. So first I'll be going over some learning outcomes for this demonstration. So after watching, you should be able to describe the goal of the business research panel. Second, be able to explain some benefits of participating in the business research panel know how to register in the business research panel, be able to articulate the timing and amount of credits you'll receive, articulate or describe the difference between the SONA credits and actual score in your course, and find the contact information of the SONA administrator when you have questions about the business research panel. So next, what exactly is the business research panel? So this panel is a consumer panel in the business college intended to support research and innovative teaching. And it is administered by the Center for Customer Insights and Digital Marketing or the CCIDM. And this panel requires an account, which are the participant, researcher, and instructor accounts. So for the participant account, this account is used for student participation in the studies, and you'll be signing up with this option if you are uh, participating with an affiliated course. So for example, uh, this type of account will be the ones answering the survey questions. And next for the researcher account, this is used for the people who design the studies uploaded onto SONA. So for example, these people will have made a questionnaire as a part of their class assignment. And for the last one, instructor account, this, used for, this is used for participating professors where they can monitor who's enrolled from their class, see participation and more. And logging on to these accounts is the same as your Bronco email login credentials. So next, I'll be talking about some benefits of participating in the panel. So this panel helps researchers, both faculty and students, collect data for their ongoing research. And for the professors teaching the courses, this tool helps their students gain experience with research collection and other relevant topics. So for the benefits for instructors, so it helps the instructors use this service as a hands-on experience with data collection. And in a study done by our center, 77.9% of our students found that participating in research, uh, the panel was helpful in learning marketing concepts. And as for students, the students are able to learn these concepts hands-on themselves. And this, uh, the credits earned may also be used for extra credit for some classes. So next I'll be showing you how to register for the system. So first you'll need to navigate to the panel's website through the CCIDM's website. So as shown here on the website, you'll see a link to the panel right here. And this page also contains valuable information such as the objective of the panel and frequently asked questions and also the contact information for the administ administrator. So you can always reference back to this page if you have any questions or email the lab as you can see here. So going to the SONA systems page, you'll be led to the login site. So for first time users, you'll be able to request an account, which will be through Cal Poly single sign on. So when requesting an account, you'll need to enter in your Bronco ID and phone number. After this is completed, you'll receive an email for confirmation. And the email will also contain a link that'll redirect you back to this website. So after this, you can log in through the Bronco name login button. Since I'm an administrator, it'll show, show more accounts than just the participant option. However, you'll be uh, just the participant option. So for first time users, there'll be a human subject and privacy policy you must agree to access the dashboard. But after that's done, you'll need to select the class that your participation is affiliated with. So as you can see here, I'll be signing up with Dr. Jung's IBM 3012 class. And after you save changes, you'll see your dashboard. So on your dashboard, you'll see the view available studies button and also the credits overview. In order to earn the credits required for your class, you'll need to sign up for studies. So let's click the view available studies button. Here, you'll be able to see the available studies which are always being updated. This example study I'll be using, the impact of the pandemic on workers' well-being, is available to sign up. 
When selected, you'll see further information about the study, such as the title, the credits, the duration, the abstract, the description, and the name of the researchers. And all the way down, you'll be able to view time slots for the study. As this particular study is fully online, you'll just need to complete the survey before the given deadline, which is right here. You can sign up and after participating, you'll be awarded the appropriate amount of credits. So this link will lead you to a survey outside of the SONA systems. And as this is a demonstration, it will not be available, but yours should be available. So as for how many studies you can participate in, you may participate in as many studies as you'd like, but whether or not you'll be given credits for it is up to your professor's policy. Credits are calculated based on how much time the participation in the study will take on average. In order to earn these credits, you'll need to participate in the in-person or online study, and online studies usually take form of an online survey. You will not receive credits for simply signing up for the study. You must complete it to earn these credits. Credits are calculated based on how much time the participation in the study will take on average, and they're issued in increments of a quarter of a full credit or every 15 minutes for the quarter of a credit. So if your professor accepts up to one SONA credit and all the studies are worth a quarter of a credit, you'll need to participate in four studies. You could also take a study worth half a credit and then two studies worth a quarter of a credit to make up this one credit. Some professors make earning one SONA credit mandatory and then award any extra credits up to one more additional credit. So in this case, students can be awarded up to two SONA credits. As there's some frequently asked questions, the first one is what if there are no studies available? And typically studies tend to be available after the second half of the semester. So don't panic if you don't see any studies available now. You'll be notified by me through a mass email as soon as there's a study available. However, if you don't register for the panel, you won't be notified. Next, it's how do SONA credits get converted to actual scores in your class? So this is completely up to the professor's policy. Some professors tend to make participation all, credit, all extra credit, um, while other professors make, use a mix of mandatory and extra credits. And as for any further questions, be sure to check out the website I showed earlier or email this email um, for the administrator. So as mentioned in the beginning, here are the learning outcomes taught in this demonstration. So to go over them again, the first objective was to describe the goal of the business research panel. Second was to explain the benefits of participating in the business research panel. Third was to know how to register in the business research panel. Fourth was to articulate timing and amount of credits you'll receive. Fifth was to describe the difference between SONA credits and actual score in your course. And lastly, it was to find the contact information of the SONA administrator when you have questions about the business research panel. So in the next video, we'll be discussing further about setting up for the study, including how to cancel or reschedule the study, what to do during the study, what occurs after you complete the study, and then more information about studies, credits, and deadlines. For any further questions, again, please feel free to email this email and thank you for watching this demonstration.